the 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 bridge it's on the historical register they said that it was built in 1822 which really is a long time ago yeah now when was the first settlement here do you know that the popes were they the very first well they were the first probably some of the first americans and but, it would have been we, you we, think it would have been a land grant from the yes, revolutionary yes, war yes but before that the indians they had found evidence of indian settlement up on the hill and uh, people that collect arrowheads and indian artifacts have found a lot of treasures we call it fieldstone farm because of these rocks that came up out of the fields and um, we have almost a mile of rock beds. And these were built uh, by the Irish and the slaves. The Irish uh, taught the slaves how to build these fences, but they mostly were the designers and the architects of them. But as you can see over there, they, they crisscross our property and we suspect that um, this part of the farm was a part of a land grant that, um, I don't know, the Pope family received the land grant and they had a plantation that was, they covered all of the, um, as far as you can see, but this little part with all the crisscrossing paddock looking spaces, we believe where they brought their animals here, they collected the animals to go down the river to market. The river is just, the Dix River is just right over the, over the. Um, so they go like a ferry or whatever. Well, um, the river was part of the transportation. It was, it's, it would be dry. When it was dry, it, oh, would, be a, it would be a highway. Yeah. So, um, so there's there's no telling how many people lived on this place. But we love it. Yeah, we it's we great. treasure it. A great, keep it. great place to paint. <laughs> great place to do anything. Well, thank God you'll come back. My husband is a arborist and uh, so that's where all the trees came from planted all these trees it's just so hard to believe that they've all grown up in the last 40 years and you know, it's just wonderful shade trees and that's how long you've been here we came uh, so these were sticks pretty much yeah <laughs> they, these were our son and son-in-law are landscape architects so we had access to some really nice trees they helped us plant them. But it's been wonderful to have this shade around our house. Like oh said. yeah, this is amazing. Sure made it comfortable for us to paint. But he planted the ones up, those maples up by the barn, in front of the barn, and the one to the side. They're just enormous now. And that barn is yours, and then the fence yeah. you see behind it, is that uh -huh. your pasture as well? Yeah. And then there's even more stone wall. Yeah. Even all the way to the back. Uh-huh. And then what's this wildlife over here? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you on camera here, too, so we can at least show who I've been talking to. <laughs> well, thank you. Probably. Roger, did you know that uh, at the Cincinnati Art Museum right now there's a Picasso landscape show? I did know that. And um, maybe maybe some of these viewers might already know that, but I think it lasts until the fall. And I was up there on Friday, and I've just got Pablo <laughs> in my head <laughs> right now, so I'm really trying to loosen up and and battle my typical tendency to get really tight and, and detailed. 
So what do you think? I, I love it. The uh, thing about the early Picasso is you get to see how great a painter he was. With the abstracts in that, it's hard to tell just how exactly good he was at realism and that. And so the landscapes, was it early in his career or? This, um, there's about 40 to 50 works. And a few of them kind of stretch the theme a little bit, but the, a lot of them are uh, his lifelong uh, landscape expo exploration and uh, a lot of en plein air pieces that go all the way from like it was a te teenager to like one of the last works he ever did was a landscape. I think what's interesting is most of us picture him in just like the cubist format or the you know the blocky right. abstract kind of thing. And there are some landscapes that fit right into that uh, look that you would expect from the you know 1909 or, or to 1912 that period right in there where it, but um, he continues to to experiment. And pretty amazing that basically he created his own form. I mean, he decided his own style was so much different than anybody else. And he was in a class by himself. Um, you can argue about his characteristics as a, as a man <laughs> and all that, but um, undoubtedly he was one of the, the geniuses of modern art. And what's interesting to me is that, you know, being someone that, who was among those that basically invented abstraction, he never completely departed from representation. It was always a, a figure or a still life or a landscape. It was always in there. And you could tell it was in there. <laughs> Connie has never appeared in any of the 105 YouTube videos at her request. I think she's Amish. <laughs> I think you're Amish. Part Amish. <laughs> oh, wow, that is really coming together. Putting the little flowers in now. That really looks good. You know, my paint completely dried up. Did it really? On the palette. Yeah. Well, mine is drying. I've never had that happen before. It's windy here. Wind and low humidity and heat. Jennifer, my easiest way of getting your phone number, and I won't show it on YouTube, but I need it. <laughs> but I need it so I can tell Debbie to put you on yeah, the text totally. list. I want to be in touch with you guys as much as I can. Linda, can I show what you're up to? Sure. Oh, wow. Really nice. Thank you. Very, very nice. Oil? Oil, yeah. Are you having trouble keeping your oils wet? No. I've never had them dry out like today. Really? Um, Drying out on the palate. I'm using a lot of liquid and terpen terpenoid. That might yeah. help, but boy, mine yeah. drying so fast. I think it's the wind and low, well, low was, humidity. Well, I was painting thin and I was hoping it would dry a little bit because I like to paint in layers. Oh, this is from Waveland. That's from Waveland, yeah. Wow. The shadow of my phone here. Let's... Don't you hate that? You want me to hold it up? Well, I'm trying to get to where there's no shadow. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, that came out really well. well thank you. That was a nice I place. I have enjoyed to... this paint, these paint outs. I'm so well, glad y'all have invited me. Waveland was a great place to It was. And this, paint. oh my goodness, I could come back here every day for a month. I know, and what great weather, too. The breeze it really helps. Beautiful. Well, you were bold. You you picked the sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what'd you end up with? Oh, I did. Yeah, the rock wall is your special. <laughs> that kind of detail. Man, you made a ton of progress you. since I've known you for like two or three years ago. <laughs> yeah. And I hope I've progressed yeah, too. You have. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. So I, I plan on putting some color to it. Uh, just didn't have time today. So. No, that looks great. Thank you.